Hi Digma Tech fans, I've got another quick video for you here. Um, we've recently just added some extra little holes around the switches um, so that we've got more compatibility with different types of replaceable switches, uh, not just the Kaiwa and the Cherry ones. And I wanted to show you how I've been adjusting the PCBs because we've been doing a lot of changes. So I've got a little bit of um, computer programming help to do the rearrangement with the board. So I'm going to talk you through this video here. Okay, so here you can see um, after I added the new holes for the keys, the diode there I've just highlighted is interfering. So if we push the key in, it's going to have a problem with the diode. Now, when I'm working with Manel, the product manager, you know from the other videos, he sends me these DXFs and we've got different size holes for different things. So I've got a computer program that I've written in Python that can interact with KiCad, that's the name of the PCB editor that I use. And here's the program. It's not very long or complicated, it's a bit of a hack to be honest. Um, but you can see up here I've got the list of all the switches and here we've got the position of where the diodes are moved to. So the program automatically places the switches, the diodes and the LEDs so everything's in the right position. So what I need to do is measure this distance, so I grab the, the diode, move it to where I think it needs to be, take these numbers down the bottom right hand side of the screen, and then type those back into the program so that the offset of the diode compared to the center of the switch is now changed. So I just changed that earlier, run the script, you can see all there that all the types of components it's placing, the switches, the diodes, the LEDs, the turrets, the PCB mount holes, and then that copies the PCB file, creates a new one so I don't lose the old one. And if I open that up now in KiCad, you can see not just that diode, but all the diodes are now perfectly in the right place. Now I have to go through the board because there might be some extra problems, like this down here, there's a problem, and there's another problem with the diode being too close to the underglow LEDs. So I'll need to make a couple more changes. But because we're having to do this kind of um, updating a lot, it makes sense to have a program so that when we make these changes for the left and the right hand side, I can very, very quickly lay out all the components and make sure everything's in exactly the right place. If you're interested to learn more about the RACE keyboard, you can click the subscribe button. Or if you're interested to purchase one of these beauties, you can head over to our website at digma.com.